Peace TV is here to inspire you and to educate you on the positive things that are happening in your community. So if you're a young person who wants to get involved and try some things out in the community, we're going to expect you to represent and do something about it. Now today we're focusing on the Urban Hope program, but we're also focusing on the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. We covered many of those events, including the Shabbat with Rabbi Spitzer and the wonderful community event with Stephanie Patrick herself. So stay tuned and check it out. In 1997, Urban Hope was the vision of a group of Green Bay area leaders along with Reggie White and his wife Sarah. Their mission was to empower aspiring entrepreneurs to realize their dreams of owning their own business. Goodwill's mission, of course, is to improve the quality of life and employment opportunities for people. Entrepreneurism is employment opportunities for people, so it's just a natural fit for us, and it's another option that we can provide for people that come to Goodwill looking for help. I am delighted to welcome you to our community's 20th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Shabbat. We are honored to open our doors to the community to share our Sabbath service with others and to remember and cherish the legacy and values of Dr. Martin Luther King. The Jewish community sees itself as partners with all of Stark County's residents and is striving to create in our midst a community of respect, justice, and progress. I think the interesting thing about Dr. King's life is that he really was not just about African Americans or about people of color or about uh, immigrants and so on. He was about people and all of us who are in need of redemption, who are in need of liberation and who need to be able to live in a society where we can use our talents and have our needs met, all of us were the subject of his conversation. Uh, the Jewish community and the civil rights community and Dr. King had a, a very holy alliance for a long, long time. I think the Jewish people knew clearly that we could not be free if everybody wasn't free. And I think Dr. King knew the same thing. One of the speeches that Dr. King gave, one of the main pieces that he talked about was to serve. Educators serve. Every individual can serve. In giving service, he said, you don't have to be an astrophysicist. You don't have to be a PhD. You don't have to be anyone with a degree. The great thing about service is that everyone can serve. Dr. King said it is our nettlesome task to discover how to organize our strength into compelling power. What is that compelling power? That compelling power is what most of us have seen demonstrated today. It's in me and you. It's in you and I. It is the fact that we were brought here. We were chosen by God out of millions of possibilities. You are here because God chose you to be here. And it's because of that that we have to know that it's within us to make a difference, within us to make a change. Even though I was Grandma Womack's grandson, I was Diane Sandy's son. But I was Annie's great grandson, and I don't even know if she really had a chance to know me. But before that, I was somebody else's great great grandson. But folks, before we came here, they call you an African American. We was Africans, folks. And Dr. Martin Luther King died standing and fighting for African Americans. That's why he is the only recognized national holiday today for African Americans. Don't lose your pride in yourself, ladies and gentlemen. James Brown just died this year. And one of the songs that we all remember him for, and sometimes I think we forget, is say it loud, I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> 